G'day everyone, what Fly Squad? Welcome back to another Thursday video. Today Luke is filming for me again. He's flying from London all the way to Melbourne, Australia. His first leg of the journey is on Singapore Airlines SQ391 and Airbus A350-900 from Heathrow to Singapore. Currently only Singapore Airlines and British Airways fly between Singapore and Heathrow. BA has three weekly flights, Singapore has two daily flights, Qantas is not flying and Norwegian is not flying between Gatwick and Singapore. SQ319 leaves Heathrow at 8.35 in the evening and it arrives at Changi the next day at 5.30pm. Today on board SQ319 there are only 12 passengers in economy class. All passengers flying on Singapore Airlines must wear a face mask for the duration of the flight. Now welcome on board SQ319 seat number 52k. My taxi Takeoff and landing. Now, Luke is going to go through the seat features with us. First of all, we have this coke hook. Here we've got USB port, you've got a remote with a screen on it, a cup holder, which is pretty cool, and then here's Singapore Airlines signature tray table. It's got a mirror on it. You can pull it back and forth and open it to double the size. You've got a touchscreen TV which is actually pretty big. You've got two meals on board this flight. This is marinated chicken with whole grain penne pasta. You've also got a bread which was pretty good and fluffy. The sauce for the pasta was good. The chicken however was a bit tough. It's super cool that Singapore Airlines give you metal utensils, even in economy class. Chocolate mousse was pretty good. For the drinks, you can ask for a slice of lemon, which makes it taste better. This flight is about 13 hours long. For about 9 hours or so, it's actually a day flight, but the cabin crew shut all the window blinds down and switch off the bright lights, but leaving the beautiful, gorgeous mood lighting on. Despite COVID-19, the meal service was pretty much normal, the food portion was normal, drink service normal. You also get a fluffy pillow and a blanket as per usual. Luke is now in one of the lavatories on board Singapore Airlines, A350 economy class. Here you've got a cook hook. They ran out of tissue there. The space looks okay here. There's some basic amenity in the lavatory like toothpaste and toothbrush. Now it's breakfast time and here it comes the second meal. It's either a Singaporean noodles or this cream cheese egg omelette. Luke opted for the omelette. He said it tasted pretty good but it's a bit sad that there was only one single individual meatball. As you can probably see the flight is really empty. This is a seat feature that I always forget about. So underneath every seat you'll find a power socket. And this is the earphone that you get on board economy class. So throughout the flight, Luke was reading his safety card and he also watched Titanic on the TV screen in front of him. The cabin crew found that Luke wasn't sleeping, so they kept giving Luke some snacks like Kit Kats and kept refilling his drinks of his choice. Luke told me that the service he got was really personal. So now we're about to descend into Singapore Changi Airport and I'll quickly conclude this trip on behalf of Luke right here, right now. So 13 hour flight on Singapore Airlines, there's only 12 people in economy class, so the service you get is really, really personal, like you're traveling in first class. The seat looks really comfortable, the leg room is 32 inches, also Luke got the whole three seats for himself, so he got plenty of space to move around. Two full delicious meals were served on today's flight. It does appear that Singapore Airlines hasn't really cut costs in economy class. 
So overall, a really good trip with Singapore Airlines. Great crew, great food, and very comfortable seats. Thank you so much, Luke, again, for filming this trip report for me. I really, really appreciate that. And thank you, everybody, for watching this trip report. I hope that you enjoyed watching this one. And now here we are, One World Fly Squad. When you fly again, please share your journey with me with a special hashtag on Instagram so I see where you're going. You can also follow me or add me on Facebook, Snapchat and Instagram. You can also become one of my YouTube members directly on YouTube or on Patreon. And finally, I upload a trip report every Thursday, 12pm Hong Kong time. That's 12pm in Singapore or 4am in London. Thanks so much for watching. As per usual, I'll do the Q&A at the end of the video. For those not watching the Q&A, I wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. 2021 is going to be much, much better, I hope. Ta! Hello there, welcome back to Q&A. Today I'm going to answer a few questions from Instagram. Um, Shenyang 98 first destination you'll go after Australia lifts the uh, travel ban. New Zealand, definitely. I've never been there. Uh, it was going to be the first country that I was going to visit when I last arrived into Australia. I was supposed to go to New Zealand for the first time in my life in April flying Air New Zealand. Jackie.cyc, could you still sustain the Thursday trip report under the COVID? At the moment, yes, thanks to Luke and 
uh, the generous borders restrictions in Australia at the moment. Alex, Alex C. 38, how did you meet your housemate? So, um, interesting question. I got a housemate, Guy, from Thailand, currently in Thailand. I got a John from Hong Kong, met him through uh, my aviation degree at the uh, university. Got a housemate, Lee, from Vietnam, met him from high school. Uh, Guy's also from high school, if I didn't say that earlier. Uh, those are the three permanent housemate, permanent, permanent, as in, you know, longer than a year. I got a housemate, Rickle, coming in from my high school's boarding house. He just finished year 12. He's coming next week uh, here for three weeks, uh, sorry, three months. After that, he'll go to Sydney for university. Got another housemate from Sydney. Can't come right now because um, COVID-19 uh, we shut the borders to New South Wales. Cloud Nine dot Aviation. What's the best Aussie airline? In my opinion, I can't give an opinion. <laughs> Qantas and Virgin. I love them both. Uh, obviously, you get better service on Qantas, but but that's because you pay extra for that. Virgin is usually cheaper, but for the price you pay for, it's fabulous. Fuk Xing Chang. Why do you need to fly so frequently? Uh, so if you um, if you ask me that before COVID, it's because I fly home to Hong Kong a lot. And right now, why do I need it? Well, partly because I want to upload some videos and also partly because I need it for my, for my mental health. Um, some people do, everyone, does different things to um, kill their times. Like some people read, some people drive around with their car, some people shop, some people like me, I fly. Um, that's just my life. <laughs> so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this trip report. And guys, Merry Christmas. Uh, I hope you're with your family together. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not. And I know some of you aren't as well. We're on the same boat. Don't be, don't feel alone. And uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I'll see you next Thursday. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boston. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and your cabin baggage stowed until the seatbelt sign has been turned.